we believed in the SAM system above all else. To the point that we were less concerned with the manufacturer of the truck, we were just overall prudent in getting the SAM system installed. I think the SAM system is going to be a real big help for, for fire departments that don't have that many people on the initial truck going out. It's exactly what we need, you know, it checks all the boxes. It's just one of those things that was an absolute no-brainer. It's a great thing and I mean it's for the future and the guys love it because it's, it's so easy to do. There's no controls, meters or anything like that they have to keep up with. It's just put your finger on a pad and slide it over. We are a Pierce fleet here. Knowing that the SAM system was available on the market, we were very adamant to bring that technology in. When we were specking the truck with Rosenbauer, we really didn't occur any extra steps to put the SAM system on it. When we reached out to E1 about the truck, I brought up that I would like to have a SAM system on it, and there was no problem with them. They said, yeah. We can teach very young people. We can also teach people that know how to do it the old way, how to do this and how to do it reliably every time. I've got a guy with a flip phone that loves the truck. He can operate it flawlessly. We're one of the uh, bigger departments in the county, in Berkeley County, South Carolina. We've got like 42 square miles we have to cover. During the day, we have uh, three paid guys on duty. Out at night, we have a crew of about 10 to 15 volunteers that help us out. Five years ago, we were doing 30 calls a month. Now we're doing over 100 a month. That's a big change and a big challenge to us. If it's a big fire that we're going to or a big scene, there's always that you know thought in your mind. Do we have enough people coming and who's available? We've been planning a new truck for probably 10 years. When I started looking at the SAM system. I just fell in love with the system. I said, this thing is the way to go. Our fire district consists of 163 square miles. We're kind of an urban slash rural. We're the only career department here in Lincoln County. So during the day, if it's a working fire, we actually get called to help the neighboring districts out. We always had training challenges, especially with the volunteer firefighters, just because they have one at a time. That always creates challenges whenever you have a short time with people and then always new people coming in. So I think we've always been on the lookout for ways where technology could help us out on that manpower situation. By the time we got to where we were gonna build some trucks, really it was a no-brainer. We were already bought into what was going on with the SAM system. I think it's simplified training. You can take pretty much anybody off the street and have them giving me water to go fight fire with. Time's everything in our job. Time is everything. So the more efficient we can do our job, the more that we can have an opportunity to save. The fire district is just shy of 75 square miles. It is a predominantly rural area. Our fire department is made up of 40 men and women, 100% volunteer. Of that, our daytime numbers can be a challenge. You might get anywhere between five to six might show up. We do have mutual aid agreements with all the surrounding communities. However, most of the communities are eight to 10 miles away. When we first learned about the SAM system, we were very skeptical, just like everybody else seems to be. It changed for us after the initial demo. My first introduction was when we demoed one of the trucks. I'm used to pulling levers and pulling knobs, and it makes it a lot easier on the fire scene with the tablet, not having to be right at the truck to man the lines, and you'd be 20 feet away and use the tablet. Typically in a midship pump or in a side mount pump, you are stuck on that side of the truck. If your incident would happen to be on the passenger side, you're almost blind to the incident itself. Being able to move to the opposite side of the truck and see what's going on at that incident helps add to that safety factor. There's never a time now where my guy stretch a line has to wait on the truck operator to be in position and ready to charge a line. 
you're being efficient, you're saving time, you're able to do more in a shorter period. If you can get into the SAM market, we could not recommend it enough. The reliability of being able to get water out of the truck and put water on the fire every time, it's paramount.